I have just downloaded the latest version of Raspont in touch from the Apple Store, but before opening the application, I go to settings here and I check my home network settings by clicking on information icon. And I take note of the first part of this number, which is 192.168.1. And the last part of the number is the IP address of my iPad here. So I go back to the application, I open the application and I create a new aquarium. I go to settings and I select the Rasmund network, which is the waiver one. And every waiver has a different number here. So I can go back to Rasmund in touch application and I hit on next. It's now connecting to the waiver, connected correctly, so I can go to home. I type the aquarium name here, for example, tank 125 gallons. I hit next. I can customize the password here, but I don't need it for the moment. And here now I will put my network name for infrastructure mode, which is very useful. So my Network name is Rosmond Guest. Be careful to respect capital letters and to avoid every space after the name or it won't work. Security type you have to normally you have WPA WPA2 network password here. Uh, you type in the, the password of your network respecting the capital letters. This is the password for this network. And here, finally, you will have to set the IP address as we have noted down before. So the first part of the number must be equal for every device in my network at home. And the last part of the number must be different for every device and it's a number between 1 and 255. So I normally recommend to use 75. And if you have multiple waivers, you can put 75 for one waiver, 85, 95, something like that for the different waivers. The other parameters can be left, as you can see here, and then you just confirm changes. And as soon as infrastructure mode is activated, now you can go back to iPad settings. You ensure you will connect back to your Rosman Gas network, your home network in this case. Now my iPad is doing it automatically. So as soon as I check I'm connected correctly, I can go back to the application and I can access to my aquarium. And since it's under infrastructure mode, I can go to settings here and I can update firmware and update Wi-Fi firmware very easily by following the steps.